wow, how cool are these two Western hemlocks? Now, Western hemlocks out of any conifer here in Cascadia are my absolute favorite for so many different reasons. I don't even know where to begin. You know, I mean, they're from their gorgeous, sweeping, feather like branches to their just their resilience and their will to grow and live anywhere. I mean, these really are some of the coolest trees we've got here. Hey, you beauties. Western hemlocks are some of the most widespread and abundant trees you're ever going to find here in Cascadia. I mean, check out this big one right here, that snapped one over there, this kind of cool twisting one. These two coming up are this little bugger right here. <laughs> they're so rad. Now, they're incredibly shade tolerant, resilient trees, often growing in the understory of forests dominated by Douglas firs, true firs, cedars, and spruce, everywhere from low to middle elevations and really poor soils to really rich, dark, damp, deep humus. They often grow on woody debris or decay, either in the joints of living trees or once those trees fall over and become nurse logs, which I do a whole deep dive video about that I'll link to. But at the end of the day, it's just really cool to see how resilient and crafty these trees are when it comes to living. Keep on keeping on, buddy. The scientific name for western hemlock is Suga heterophylla. Hetero meaning different, phyla meaning leaves, different leaves. And when you look closely at the needles on a western hemlock, you can see how they got their name. Their needles are really flat, blunted, with this horizontal splay, very feather-like, with two white rows of stomata on the underside, and all these needles vary greatly in both sizing and spacing, giving it kind of an erratic look compared to most of the neatly organized rows of other conifer needles. Now this erratic spacing and siding gives these trees a very delicate, feathery-like appearance as they blow in the wind. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Now, not only are the needles on a western hemlock really unique and easy to identify, but their cones are as well. The male pollen cones are these tiny little orange nubs on the other branches, and their female cones are these absolutely adorable, cute little cones like this that often grow in clusters up in the branches, starting out really green and purple, fading into a light brown and splitting open, then falling in abundance all over the forest floor. Now, this is part of the reproductive strategy, just to basically saturate the market of the forest floor space with these little cones that, you know, are able to be really lightweight and they bounce all over the place and, and fall into precarious little spots where they're able to germinate and become the next generation of forest. It's pretty rad. Now the bark on western hemlocks is a really lovely hue of reddish brown to gray, starting out really rough, gritty, and sandy when they're younger, then aging into these vertical scales and furrow bark like this. Now because these trees often grow on woody debris like nurse stumps and nurse logs, their roots often get exposed as those surfaces continue to break down and erode, so they'll actually form a really cool layer of thin gritty bark that covers the roots and protects the cambium layer so they can continue transporting nutrients back and forth from the canopy up above and the soil down below. Because of their resilience and their sheer will to live, western hemlocks tend to grow with these crazy root structures, these twisting curving trunks and crazy canopies, and people tend to think of them as ugly, annoying, and refer to them as a weed tree, but to me, these trees are absolutely gorgeous. I love these little hemis. Oh, gall dang, what a beauty. If you're enjoying these videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel below or just keep watching to keep learning because the more you know, the more fun you're going to have next time you're outside in nature, enjoying it. Sure is rad out here. There's just, there's so much green, you know, I've never seen this much green before.